Thank you, Chris. Still unfolding, the mother of the Oxford school shooter back in court in a historic trial. Jennifer Crumbly is accused of involuntary manslaughter in the 2021 massacre at the hands of her son, who killed four students and injured seven others. Crumbly and her husband are the first parents in America to go on trial for their child committing a mass school shooting. TV5's Lenita Brooks joins us in the studio with the disturbing testimony in day three of Jennifer's trial. Lenita. Day three of Jennifer Crumbly's trial brought testimonies from three witnesses, including, Oxford, including the Oxford shooter's former high school counselor. I really wanted to point out the words that were in the drawing because they were the easiest to see, and I wanted to get explanation for the words that wasn't just, it's a video game. Sean Hopkins, a former counselor at Oxford High School, office. recounting a meeting he had with Ethan Crumbly, once becoming aware of Crumbly's concerning behavior. He then details a meeting he held with Crumbly and his parents the morning of the deadly shooting. The student had requested to be able to stay in class, um, and parents were on board with him staying in class as a good placement. Um, I was with our dean, who would be the person in, who does discipline, um, and of the four adults in the room, I'm the one who can't remove a student from class. So I asked our dean if there was any reason from a discipline standpoint or anything that he needed to do from a discipline standpoint um, that would prevent the student from returning to class. And the response there? No. Sergeant Joe Bryan, a detective with Oakland County Sheriff's Office, was also called to the stand before the jury wrapped for the day. Local criminal defense attorney Nick Robinson shared his thoughts with TV5 on the trial. So again, if I'm defending this case, I would hammer to the jury over and over and over again that no matter how bad this case is, no matter how bad the facts may be, we are not responsible for the actions of another person, even if that is our child. That would be my defense. The prosecution expects to call 20 to 25 people to testify in Jennifer Crumbly's trial. Her husband, James Crumbly, trial will begin in March.